Hey everyone, Flying Studs here. So today I'm going to be talking about my dream Lego sets. So I just wanted to say that these wouldn't all be in the same um, wave. It wouldn't really make sense to put these in the same wave. So yeah, let's just get into it. So the structure that I'm going to be like going on with this video today is two micro fighters, two $15 battle packs, two $30 battle packs, two dual sets, two... 20 to 70 dollar sets so like mid-range sets and then three ucs sets so let's just get on with the video so first for my micro fighters i would have a razor crest with mando so um i know what you guys are gonna say mando's only supposed to come in the the more expensive sets which makes sense he's supposed to be a valuable character but it would be cool to get a cheaper option to get mando and I would want Mando to be in Beskar armor because I don't like the non-Beskar armor Mando. Then maybe I would want a Venator with like a clone officer or a regular Phase 2 clone. Uh, we haven't seen the Phase 2 clones and like the plain Phase 2 clones in a long time. And I really want some and they're way too expensive. But a clone officer would be cool. They're not very like... They're not very common. So I think it would be cool to get a clone officer. For the $15 paddle packs, I would have a Stormtrooper battle pack, so it would have one Scout Trooper, one speeder bike uh, for the Scout Trooper, a small turret, and then two or three normal Stormtroopers, it doesn't really matter. Um, if there are two, then we could get a Death Trooper as the fourth. And then number two would be a Wolf Pack battle pack. Uh, I don't really know what I would put in there, probably three normal Wolf Pack Troopers. Um, I really like the 2020 style of Clone Troopers, so I would definitely change it up a little bit and use the 2020 style of clone troopers and then maybe the fourth trooper could be a jetpack trooper just like what we got in the 501st battle pack i don't really know so for my 30 dollar battle packs um i think a first order battle pack would be really cool i know we got one like a couple of years ago but i really think that the first order like stormtroopers look really cool I don't necessarily like the sequels that much, but the First Order Troopers do look awesome. Um, so it would have a speeder break, sort of like the one from the Pasana speed cha uh, Speeder Chase. Um, it would be a little simplified. Um, then there would be three normal First Order Troopers, one Jetpack Trooper, and then two Resistance Troopers. I think it'd be a really good battle pack, and it's sort of the opposite of the 501st battle pack, where we got four good guys, two bad guys. Here we would get four bad guys and two good guys, which I would really like. Uh, for my second one, I would have a clone battle pack. I know I'm obsessed with clones, but um, I would have two regular phase two troopers, one 501st, and then one 212th or 30, uh, 332nd. It would have an ATRT um, and a small turret or a speeder bike. I would really like it. I would enjoy it actually more than the 501st battle pack because we would get those plain phase twos. So for my dual sets, I would get an Anakin and maybe an Obi-Wan versus a Count Dooku. I think it would be a really cool set. If it came with Obi-Wan, maybe you could price it at around $12 to $15. Um, that's an iconic fight, at least to me. I really like that fight. So, yeah, I would definitely put that in the list. And then um, maybe a Vader versus an Obi-Wan uh, versus Obi-Wan from A New Hope. I think that would be a cool uh, duel. It would sort of be like the afterwards of the duel on Mustafar. So you could put one in front and then one behind or one to like the side of each other. And it would look like old friends meeting each other after so long, right? It would be so cool. So for my mid tier sets, so like 20 to $70 sets, um, I would get a small Clone Wars Coruscant guard gunship. It'd be like really miniature. Um, it would have probably one or two Coruscant guard troopers. And keep in mind, this would be pretty small. It'd be downsized from the one that we got in, like, 2014. Um, it would be sort of like the chasing Ahsoka scene. I would really like an Ahsoka in it, and then an Anakin, and then maybe a fox. You don't have to include the chorus on guard um, if, like, they don't want to, because that would probably go over the $70 mark. And so another... 20 to 70 dollars set would be phasma's end it was a pretty cool scene not gonna lie not the part where bb8 was in like an atrt or whatever that was i don't even know um so we'd have two or three stormtroopers and then one phasma and then one a fin the phasma might be battle damage that would be cool it would, she would have like a hole in her um helmet that would be a really cool set 
So for my final UCS sets, I would get a First Order Star Destroyer. I think it's a pretty cool, like, set. It sort of looks like the, um, the Imperial one, but I want a UCS version of it. I believe the one that we got wasn't a UCS version. I'd also get maybe a UCS Imperial Shuttle. I know they're making a smaller version, like, in 2021, or it is 2021, but later in the year. And then I would want a UCS clone turbo tank. I honestly think a UCS clone turbo tank would be cool. Maybe it would come with like one clone trooper, like one singular, or maybe a clone officer. Either would be fine, but that would be a really cool set in my opinion. All right, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. Go check out my main channel in the des uh, description. Give me some video ideas in the comments because I'm running low on them. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.